Mary Meat, thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to make what's called the Mystic Triangle. It's a little bit of Solomonic high magic, and we use it to start off new projects or anytime we need help with something that seems beyond our sphere of influence. I have some colored pencils, purple, gold, silver, and dark green, some orange cardstock, a ruler, a protractor, and a pair of scissors. It's a very, very simple operation. You'll love it. It's real easy to use. Uh, use this mystic triangle anytime you need help. Don't use it for things that are, you know, easy for you that you just don't feel like doing. Really use it for stuff that you, that you need help with that seems to be too big of an issue for you to resolve on your own. Think in terms of how King Solomon built his temple with the help and aid of mystical powers. That's where this comes from. He was able to carry stones in, in ways that, that no longer had weight, etc., etc. So that's what this is. This is going to help you with heavy lifting that you are incapable of handling on your own. All right, so I have a square of orange cardstock. I've just cut this to eight and a half inches square. And then the first thing we'll want to do is find the center point of the square. And then we'll take our protractor and we will mark a dot at the 120 degree point three times. So 120 degrees apart from one another are these dots to make the basis of our triangle. And then I will take the ruler and just bring out those rays a little bit so it's a bit larger of a triangle. Uh, you can do it any size you like, but uh, four inches I, is what I'm going for today. Well, now we'll just connect the dots of those outer points to form the actual triangle. It's probably best not to freehand this. It's good to make sure that it's fairly accurate. Next, we'll take our scissors and actually cut out the triangle. Next, take your gold pencil, pen, or paint and draw a small triangle outlining the inside of the triangle that you just cut out. You could probably use your protractor for this and make it a lot more accurate than I'm doing here, but I just am drawing a triangle. Now at the top, we're going to draw this little Y shape, and that represents Shekinah. Shekinah, as we say. It's okay if you don't know how to pronounce it in Hebrew. Shekinah is fine. And then on the bottom left, we draw this little A. And then on the bottom right, we draw this little symbol of completion. Next, take your purple pencil or pen or paint and draw the symbol for Jupiter right like this. And then take your dark green and draw the symbol for Saturn completion like this. And then follow it up by drawing the symbol for the crescent moon pointing upward with silver like this. So the first power or the magical field, the Shekinah, is working on that which we are beginning. And the power of Jupiter is expanding our good. And the power of Saturn is giving us a successful completion to whatever this is. And that's the meaning behind this mystical triangle. It's a very powerful, powerful talisman. Even though it doesn't seem too complex to make, it's very, very effective. 
and you are drawing on great forces, just like King Solomon in days of old was able to build his temple with the use of superhuman powers, so too can you receive the assistance that you need when you have some heavy lifting to do that's beyond your control by using these superhuman powers as well. And that's the point of doing angelic magic, is to get the help that you need so that you can effectively work the way that you need to work in this world so that you can do what you came here to accomplish. So mode it be. Just put this away until your project is completed. No candles, no perfumes, no petitions need be written. And destroy it once your project is completed. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, blessed be.